goblet squat is an iconic kettlebell movement that helps build core strength and lower body strength. Now, the core strength comes from having to keep a very upright position while supporting the weight. The weight, since you're holding it in front of you, is gonna to wanna to pull you forward. So you're gonna to have to fight against that using a good uh, neutral spine and a tight core. Now, the best way to get the weight up, I found, is to use a uh, two-hand clean, where you blast it up into position. Now, this is a side handle grip. You'll notice that I'm not out here. What this does is it requires too much arm strength, and it's a bad joint position to hold. So what I like to do is squeeze the kettlebell in between my forearms and try to keep them as vertical as possible. You know, you don't see pillars on a building that are leaning out like this. It, you know, it's stronger if they're completely vertical. So this is supporting the weight, allowing me to concentrate on my core strength and my lower body strength during the drill. Now with any squat, your hips are gonna go behind you. Imagine there's a wall six inches behind you that you're trying to touch with your hips. And then you're gonna sink down, staying as vertical as possible, pressing your knees out and try and get as low as you can. Now you can only get as low as your mobility will allow you. So if you don't have the mobility to get below parallel, don't go below parallel. Work on your hip mobility before you even try it. So from here, coming up, breathing out as I ascend. So again, descending, supporting the weight with my vertical arms. Weights on the heels and coming back up, pressing my knees out. So important point to note is as I'm coming down, I'm not leaning forward, kind of waving my way down into a lower position. I have my hips neutral, pushing back, keep my back as straight as possible. And to say directly from here, I start widening my stance and I allow my hips to drop further before coming back up. Now again, your hip mobility is probably gonna limit your movement as you descend. If you need to work on it, you know, work on your hip mobility before you try to get it lower. At least try to get your uh, legs parallel to the ground, you know, at the bottom of each rep. The front squat is another variation of the squat exercise. It has a lot of the, the similar mechanics to the goblet squat, but again, it's gonna require a little bit more core stability because you're loading the weight on one side rather than balancing it out in the middle. So what we're gonna do, watch your clean tutorial, we're gonna clean it up into the rack position. From here, just like our uh, goblet squat exercise, putting our hips back, dropping, trying to spread the knees as we go. Shoulders back, back straight, proud chest, and neutral spine before coming back up. Now what you'll notice is as I descend, I'm keeping the kettlebell in the crook of my arm by kicking my elbow out just a little bit. And back up. Now at the top of each rep, rep, I'm gonna reset. So again, without the kettlebell, here's the standard rack position, tilting in towards my chest. And as I go down, I'm keeping it cradled by kicking out my elbow. Now a limiting factor with this exercise is how much weight you can actually hold in this position with your arm. So if you need to, go ahead and line up the weight. Another option is to just double it up with double kettlebells. It's a little bit more advanced, so we don't use it in this program, but it's another option if you need to add more weight, but you're limited by the amount of weight either arm can hold. 